Hello everyone, it's Nakisha Michelle, that urban love chick, and I'm here getting ready to give you a few minutes of my time because I know that we are tripping. Sherry Shepard, what? Getting a divorce? It's so much going on and I am just getting so sick and tired of hearing that strong black women, we just can't keep a man. So I thought I would just give you a little piece of my mind just to help the single women as well as you married women or coupled women or whatever, whatever situation you're in, it's going to help you. Let me give you my three tight tips to keep your man and keep him happy, okay? And it's not what you think. So let me give it to you real quick. Number one, the first thing you need to do is when you're in a situation and you feel like He's not understanding you and you feel like he is um, being stubborn and you're trying to show him what you want and he has his own idea of what he wants. You know, the first thing I want you to think about in that conversation is, do you have to be right? I mean, if you're wrong or if your point is not, uh, come, does not come across to him, is it going to kill anything? See, we have this issue as black women that we have to be right and we have to have our way all the time. We don't want to give the man time to think about it, time to lead us, time to, you know, work it all out in his way. We have to be heard and we have to have it go our way. And let me just tell you something. Every time you have an urge to be right and you won't let an issue settle and you won't let an issue just go, just let it go, you're going to create an issue where he's not going to want to be with you or he's going to start stepping out. He's going to get really, really irritated. And you can't just keep doing that over and over. Do you want to be right or do you want a relationship? That's the first thing I would ask you. The second thing that I would say is before you say what you need to say, because you might be like me because I'm real saucy, I'm real spicy, and sometimes when I get ready to start speaking and it's a little out of control, my husband will say, wait, wait, wait. So when I hear wait, 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 I just be quiet and I realize that I'm, I'm getting a little uh, elevated and I need to calm down. So what I do is I let it go and I do this, number one. I go and get my journal and I write my feelings and I write what I feel, uh, my feelings and what I feel in this book. I let all the harsh feelings, I let all the anger, everything come out in this book. It doesn't come out in my, my husband. He doesn't see this. It comes out in this book. So by the time I write it in this book and I've gotten resolve on it, when I approach him with it, it's more suggestive, it's soft. You know, like I always tell people, stop roaring like a lion and purr like a kitten, which means bring it down. So when I come to him after I've written it in this book and I've thought about it and I've reflected on it, he can receive it better what I'm saying because I'm not all emotional and I'm not on 10 trying to deliver him or get him to see my point of view. The second thing you need to do when you're in a situation and you feel like he's not honoring you or you feel like you have so much to say and he's just not listening and you, you, you want to start threatening or you, you just feel like, you know, you just want to start screaming, go and sit your ass down and get your wedding book or your memory book or flip through your Facebook pages of all the loving memories you have as a reason why you're with this guy. Because a lot of times we forget the reason why we are together and what brought us together. What brought us together is what has to keep us together. You know, the love, the friendship, all of that. So you have to evoke those emotions by going to get something that puts you in remembrance of why you got together and why you love this person. That always calms me down. When I feel like, oh my God, he's not listening, or oh my God, why can't he just understand what I'm saying? I go and get this book and I say, you know what? I love this man and I don't even realize what the argument is about anymore. I love him. He brings me so much joy. Let me let it go, okay? The third thing I'm gonna tell you, what you need to do is learn how to entertain yourself and stop making these men your world. When you get married or when you get in a relationship, yes, the honeymoon phase, we can't get enough of each other. 
But the honeymoon phase is just that. It's a phase. It is not the entire relationship. And where we're going wrong is when we get out of the honeymoon phase, we don't know what to do with each other. We don't like each other. We don't we don't want to talk to each other. We want to sleep in separate rooms and all of this stuff. And the real true person comes out and you don't really like who this real who the real person is and all this friction and stuff. Those are necessary phases of the relationship to rebond you together. And to allow you, once you get through that, you go back through the honeymoon phase again. But I think we think, I think we believe that when we're in the honeymoon phase, that that is the relationship and it is not. So when you are in the situation where you know that you're not in the honeymoon phase and you're bumping heads a lot, I need you to start entertaining yourself. Let that man be. Let him go and do what he does, and you entertain yourself. And this is how I entertain myself. You see this? This is a girl's best friend. It is called a pocket rocket. Go and play with yourself. I tell my, my singles, there is nothing wrong with m and &M. That is meditation and masturbation. You better go and play with yourself. Get yourself together and leave him alone. Let the situation simmer. This is why we can't keep anybody because we always hot in the moment. We got to prove our point and then it's all or nothing and we're so negative. We need to stop it. Bring it down. So what's the three things you're going to do to save your relationship? You're going to write about it in here. Be quiet. You write about it in here. Reflect. Do you need to be right or do you want your relationship? That's what you need to think about. Write your emotions. Write how you're feeling in here. The second thing you're going to do is revisit those memories on why you're with that person. Okay, why are you with him? Revisit those memories so that you can get yourself in a better mood. The last thing you're going to do, learn to entertain yourself. Do what Keisha says, some meditation and masturbation, and that's going to help you. So that's it for today. I love you guys. Listen, love does not have to come with drama. And just in case you don't know, every Sunday at 4 p.m. PST and what is it? 7 p.m. EST, I have my weekly show, Supersize Your Happiness. It's a 30-minute show bringing you every week to challenge you and to elevate your love habits. And, and we just really talk about everything that has to do with power, love, and sex. So listen, if you haven't been to my site in a while, I've got a whole new product catalog available for you to shop and learn how to be the woman that you know you want to be for that man. And learn how to prepare yourself for Mr. Right and attract Mr. Right. So go to nolovedrama.com so that you can access my full product catalog. And I will talk to you soon. Now remember, do you have to be right or do you want a relationship? The choice is yours. Talk to you soon, lovely.